Hey golfers, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing our first Q&A session in the studio. If you recall, a few months ago or so, I had put out a video that we were going to do this and there were going to be some changes uh, with regard to the channel, and this is one of them. So but before I start the q and I'd like to talk about the haters out there. And it seems like mo it's most prevalent in a lot of YouTube channels that are either growing or big channels. So for those haters out there who say derogatory comments to me or uh, about the uh, channel itself, this channel's not for you. Find another hobby and move right along because uh, you, will, you, will not get, you will not get one minute of time with me uh, or anyone else on this channel uh, to waste our time. We just have way too much work to do. That being said, let's, go, let's dive into the uh, Q&A. So one of the most prevalent questions I get is, uh, why do I use a different color golf ball? Well, in Florida, we shoot six months of the year. So we shoot from about May 1st to uh, November 1st, depending on um, you know, uh, the population and how many people come down here. The snowbirds come down as well. And uh, you know, they, they wanna play and they don't wanna be held up by cameras in the, uh, or tripods in the fairway, obviously. So that's what we usually play in the summertime. And what happens in the summertime is that the wind is uh, always changing and also the, uh, the sky in the background if we have a really white background with a lot of heavy cloud cover, the white ball is not going to be picked up with the shot tracer. So uh, we learned this the hard way. And um, so we now use a yellow ball or a green ball during those particular days. And uh, I'd, rather, I'd rather use the white ball, but um, for now, this is what we have to do because shot tracer, we want it to be as accurate as possible. In fact, our shot tracer is probably more accurate than TrackMan on the PGA Tour that you see on TV. Uh, so that's why we use a different color golf ball. Second question I get most prevalent is um, people want to start a YouTube channel and start with uh, they want, what type of equipment do they need uh, to start a golf channel of some, of some fashion. And I say, uh, don't spend a lot of money in the beginning. I bought a $30 tripod and I used an iPhone 8, believe it or not, to do the earlier videos. And you'll see they're kind of rough. Um, the editing was rough as well because I used to edit on, um, on an iPad and it was very, very arduous to try and get it uh, to be just right. So uh, I would say don't spend a lot of money. I started with the iPhone 8, then I went to an iPhone 12, which was miraculously better as far as quality goes. And then I said after about eight months, I started spending money on equipment for the studio to build the studio and the camera. And I now have a Canon M50 with the stock lens that comes with it, uh, with a shotgun mic on top, which is a very good mic. And um, so that's what we use. And I use the uh, iPhone 12 for B-roll, and that seems to work real well. And I can incorporate that in the editing um, as time goes on. So I would say, again, don't spend a lot of money. Just get a feel for it. Buy a, a cheap uh, tripod that's sturdy and an adapter on top so you can put your iPhone on top uh, in two different ways and work with that for, in the beginning until you get more acclimated to, to uh, doing shooting and, and, and the angles of videos and stuff like that. Things you have to take into consideration where the sun is and, and everything like that, lighting. So there's a little bit, little bit to it, but um, that's what I would say about that. Um, so good luck with that, and um, and don't give up. No matter what, if you have trouble, like we always have trouble on occasion, don't let it get you down. Just plug right ahead and keep on going. Forge ahead, and you'll be okay. So the third one that's most uh, prevalent is um, the uh, a lot of people want to see us play the better clubs, like Bay Hill in Orlando or um, like TPC Sawgrass in Ponte Verde beach on the east coast and uh, it's kind of funny because i wanted to make reservations at the bay hill club in orlando we always go to orlando in may and um so i said you know let, let me check it out so it's one of those stay and play courses in fact most of them are even tpc sawgrass is stay and play and so the accommodations uh, for one night would be between three and four hundred dollars a night which is kind of average for that but the greens fees are about 250 249 250 each so if my wife were to play with me, which she would normally, and we would shoot the video, it would cost $500 just to play golf for one day there. And obviously these courses are very busy. They're always busy, no matter what time of the year it is in Florida. And we have to move right along. So um, it will happen. We will start playing the better courses, but it will be a little bit of time yet before we can get the, uh, the funds up to do that. And the time to do that in the best time of the year in Florida to do it, which would actually be in May. So this year we're going to be in Orlando. We're going to be at Shingle Creek, but we're not shooting video there. We may do some uh, some video there for like just a couple of things here and there, but we're not really shooting the course because we did Shingle Creek about a year and a half ago, and it's it's on our channel. 
so that's pretty much uh, what we're going to do with that situation. Uh, the fourth most prevalent um, question I have is, do I have a camera crew? Well, once in a while, my wife, my wife is retired now. Once in a while, um, she does uh, do some footage behind the, behind the scenes, uh, but she's really not learned it yet. She's still learning about the, the angles, the, the angles and the lighting and all that stuff with regard to the camera. And she has to be able to move on the fly like I do. I do more than 75% of the videos. I'm the man behind the camera and also in front of the uh, camera hitting a shot uh, playing golf, which was something I had a very hard time getting used to when I first started with my iPhone 8 is to be uh, the cameraman behind the camera and then now I have to go and play golf. It's very difficult to do. It took me three months to get acclimated to doing that. It wasn't easy. It was a very difficult transition for me, but now it's, it's easy. But again, I'm always under the gun. There's people behind me. I have to hit the camera right away, hit the, hit the play button, and I got to go and play. I got to say a few words uh, in dialogue in front of the camera, and then I hit my shot, and I got to get right away and get back in the cart and go, and go, go, go. So there's no time to waste. There are people on the course. And so uh, that's what I do. So yeah, 75% of the time, uh, I do the uh, camera work as well as the editing. And uh, my wife is slowly getting into it more and more, and she actually likes it. So uh, she'll probably be on it more, maybe 50% of the time, uh, which would relieve me a lot. Uh, but that being said, uh, that's pretty much what we do. So with this little Q&A, that's the four questions I had that were most prevalent that I see on the, on the channel when I get these, uh, these uh, emails or in the, in the um, comment section. And uh, I just uh, really want to thank you all for the little love and support for this channel. And we really appreciate the help. Our, our channel is growing. It's taking a little time, but the channel is growing. It's just amazing that there are so many hundreds and hundreds, thousands of channels regarding, regarding golf in some fashion. I never realized that. So I'm, I'm a little small fish in a big ocean. I know it takes time, but uh, I have the confidence with regard to uh, having a bigger audience in time with regard to the content and the quality of content that we produce. So with that being said, until next time, thank you for joining us and we'll see you on the next golf course.